Hello everyone. Sorry for video and voice quality and sorry for my English. Also sorry for my sad face. I'm not sad, it's just my normal face. So just don't uh, pay attention to it. In this video I'll tell you about my electric kick scooter, how I bought it and how it transformed to scooter for Lone Adventures. I believe it may be interesting for 9bot max users and uh, those who plan to buy one because you can learn something new, especially things uh, that you even maybe didn't know you can do with your scooter. A little bit about me. My name is Svetoslav or Svet. I'm 22, I'm from Ukraine and my main occupation is uh, programming uh, but, uh, but my another passion is electric transport. Long story short, I love my electric scooter and to drive further on it I decided to develop an easy mounting two-seat motor seat for it to basically turn kick scooter into scooter so I can easier travel long distances and if needed I can easily turn it back to scooter just by unmounting the seat. So then I got my first prototype and more about this in next video and it appeared to be so cool and beautiful that I decided to build a product of it and sell it. Like just look at this, it's just first prototype, it's not even painted, it's raw steel. And it already looks beautiful, perfectly fits kick scooter design. But it's a topic for next video. So let's talk a little bit about how I got to the point of buying a kick scooter. From deep childhood I spent my summers on bicycle. I was always attracted to the idea of driving far away, romantic trips on my own small not gas powered transport. While I was young I drove abandoned sand Korea near our country house. In high school, we traveled around the city and beyond with my friends. During my university years, electric kick scooters started to appear on the streets. Firstly, I took it skeptically, but when the friend of mine bought one and I took a chance to ride it, boom! It's lightweight, it's foldable, you can take it easily inside buildings, inside public transport, inside taxi, and you should not pedal and sweat. After some time, in 2021, I bought mine 9 bot Max G30P. I drive it, my wife drives it, and, and often we drive it together with my wife standing behind me. We drive both for fun and for some business. We love to travel together. Before massive Russian assault began, we also loved to draw Night City, but now it's not possible to do curfew. We drove all around Kruirik, Lviv, Kiev on it. If I only know about 5 amp charger last year, it would help a lot during the trips. This is a charger you can purchase from 9bot and it will charge your max scooter two times faster than built-in one. It's more useful because when you drive around some city, you only have about like 1.5 hour to charge while having dinner in cafe. You don't have 4, 5 or 6 hours just sit in cafe. In 1.5 hour you can charge most of the battery. This year we traveled around Lviv district. I was on bike and my wife on 9bot max. Only upgrade scooter had on the trip is fast charger. It was basically stock. Still we did almost 120 miles or 200 kilometers in 3 days. Theoretically if only driving scooter and charging one person could easily do 250 miles or 400 kilometers in those three days. But we didn't rush, we just enjoyed the trip. 2021 we did six, 600 miles or 1000 kilometers on my scooter. Now in 2022 it's more than 2000 miles or 3000 kilometers already. So we decided to improve our scooter so we can drive on it far, together and with more comfort. Disclaimer, some improvements may sound expensive or risky for you, but I still decided to go on regardless price and risks, so me and you can learn from my mistakes. So here is the list of things we improved in our scooter. First, wrench. I mounted 45 amp battery inside, instead of stock 50 amp, so three times bigger. Local scooter service did it for us and it costs 500 bucks with work. Now me with 110 lbs weight or 50 kilos weight uh, can drive 120 plus kilometers. 
or 75 miles on sport mode on one charge. Together with my wife, it's around 230 lbs or 110 kilos. We can drive around 70 kilometers or 45 miles on one charge. We already tested it, it's real numbers. Also, big battery range is good for its lifetime because less current is taken from battery compared to its capacity and less current compared to capacity applied when charging. Basically, current remains the same, but as far as battery is three times bigger, it's three times less noticeable for it. Also, I can always keep my scooter about 50% charged, which is again very good for lithium battery life. I charge my battery only up to 50% after ride and charge it only before another ride itself. Even if ride isn't planned, 50% is still enough to go anywhere with such big battery. Second is power. Ideally, we would install all-wheel drive, so we can climb long hills and mountains driving together without risk of wheel or controller overheat. But initial problem is that we even could not reach some steep hills in the city. To resolve this problem, we configure scooter firmware. Now, Sport Mode provides 35 amps current instead of 25. We also removed speed limit. Now we can make most hills, also we can drive up to 37 km per hour or 23 miles per hour when battery is full. If you don't know how to set up custom firmware, I can show it in another video. You only need a phone and about 10 minutes of your time. Third is Comfort. We installed rear and then front monorim suspension. This is a wide topic, but the fact is that your scooter performance changes completely after you install the suspension. You can drive roads you would never imagine to ride before. In my case, I definitely go for it, but this decision has up and down sides. Also, there are different suspensions available, which is a topic for another video. And last but not least is comfort for long trips. Standing ride is okay when it's for a few kilometers, but it can be challenging if you drive longer, especially when you stand together with someone. Legs, back, ups, hurts. Also, there is no designed ability to carry some luggage on kick scooter. That's why I decided to develop two-person seat that will also be able to carry some cargo you even could attach bike trailer to it. More about it in next video. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to follow my progress. Press the like button if you liked it or dislike if you don't. Leave a comment about what do you want to hear about next. See you. Bye.